unconnecting point. So you're running a small business and keeping up with the online portion might seem like an additional part-time job. John Garvey and Mary Fallon of Garvey Communication Associates chatted with me about the ins and outs of your online presence. I first asked Garvey, what's the most important thing to consider once you've launched your website? It's, a, it's pretty basic. You can't just set up a site and leave it. You have to kind of continue to refresh it. Um, generally speaking, when Mary and I approach it, any type of project, we, we have two audiences in mind. It's, it's people, it's the you know, customers, prospects, and it's search engines. Both of them like fresh content that's relevant to you know their experience and or what every they're small for. business owner in the world wants to <laughs> come right now and give you a little smack because I'm sure that they're thinking once that website's up thank God done check it off the list and moving on but Mary you're saying and, and John as well really that content needs to be fresh social media is a way that people can refresh it right you know you put a little you tweet something out you put something up on Facebook link that to your website is that what you're talking with customers about yeah usually I mean social media is kind of an add-on I think to your website uh, your websites kind of your home base and then social media is just a way to expand on that and to have a direct communication with customers and prospects usually websites are a little more static but social media allows you to log in multiple times a day if you want to and interact with people. And is that one of the ways can you use social media to leverage, you know, to help with your search engine optimization and things like that that you're talking to clients about? S social media is definitely useful for search engine optimization and just to kind of define that, that's, you know, making your business or your organization come up uh, in a Google search query. So well, someone front and center right to the top. Yeah, and it's really that first page that you want um, with Google results. So if, if they're kind of typing in a query or they're typing actually your business name, this gives them some way to figure Figure out what it is you're, you're about and so you know website as Mary alluded to is, is home base um, generally speaking we're not advocating you know changing every page every day but certainly trying to keep some fresh posts on there some fresh information and a lot of times what we do is have them uh, link back from some sort of from Facebook so post something on Facebook that links to you know a post on your website the, 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 I felt the smack coming again because what, you know, again, Facebook is one of those things or any of the social media platforms that you, you know, you have to, frequency is important. Um, for algorithmic reasons, the way Facebook works, uh, attaching additional media is important. Mm -hmm. So attaching a photo or using video and all those things kind of raise the bar for small businesses who say, you know, geez, I don't have time to do that stuff and, and when work in that environment. But that be, that frequency aspect is, is really critically important. And then, then the, the fact that you're just not out there shouting, um, you're, you're basically trying to give them information that they might be looking for. That's, that's essentially shareworthy, that you're they'll want to bring to others. Opening up a conversation. Essentially. How important is that? Right. Oh, that's essential. I think nowadays consumers actually expect you to be on social media sites. Uh, you know, they find it strange if you're not on Facebook or you're not on Twitter, if you why don't have... Why reputable? Why, aren't, why don't they have a website? Why aren't they... Right, because I think the first people, first thing people do is they go online, they search your business, they look for your website, they look for Facebook, Twitter, maybe some YouTube videos, some photos on Flickr. And if you're not there, I mean, unfortunately, they think you're kind of behind the times. We so. have, speaking of times, two mobile phones here sitting on the table. Yep. How much do you talk to your clients or how much do your clients need to be thinking about or small business owners need to be thinking about how their website looks on that little device? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we were just talking about that today, actually. Yeah. It's pretty vital. I mean, yeah. most people's sites are just standard sites and a mobile site should be simplistic. It should be clean. You should be able to be on your mobile device and to select different links and to get the basic information you're looking for when you're on the go. Mobile wave is going to be huge and, and I don't think businesses, especially small businesses, are, are prepared for it all. Um, you know, just the, I mean, these, these are tools that we work with that, you know, it's interesting, the phone doesn't ring very much in the office anymore. <laughs> it's all our electronic, our communications are electronic. Yeah. These guys, um, Mary and her counterpart used uh, their iPhones to uh, run a PR thing that we were doing recently, Pro Bono Extreme Makeover. They did interviews with their iPhones. They took pictures and posted to social with their iPhones. Mm -hmm. They disseminated press releases with their iPhones. And we reached the outer limits of uh, technology. You know what that was? What is this? Power. <laughs> In the, the field, yeah, died. the battery will die <laughs> at some point. So we now have battery packs. Yeah, right. we now have battery now packs have that we travel. Yeah. So it won't be an so, issue. I, I mean, but the, when you think about it, and again, it's 
relatively new, but you know, consumers are seeing it uh, more and more. The QR code or uh, the QR code, which is that little you know square, squiggly, strange graphic. looking yeah. thing. Yeah. You have a yeah. picture of it. But you know, I mean, the the millions and millions of people who watched uh, the Super Bowl ads, they saw QR codes, they saw Twitter hashtags. All of those are efforts to get consumers to move to the second screen. And mm -hmm. and our stats, and you know, industry stats show that about 40% of people watching the Super Bowl are sitting there with their tablet or their their smartphone, uh, banging away, you know, uh, talking to friends or sharing video or doing something that that affect. So that's where the real battle is. And, and again, I don't think many businesses are prepared for that. How today. easy or difficult is it if you have an existing website to translate that into a more user-friendly, like you were saying, Mary, mobile site? There's actually some, some apps you can kind of use. Like I know, you know WordPress has its own app to kind of yeah. build a mobile site and you can kind of tweak it from there. I mean, any web programmer could do it yeah, for you too. It's is crazy. And whenever we get a difficult question, we just say there's an app for that. <laughs> but you know, there literally, there literally are, are ways to do it that aren't that, that complicated, but it's just so, you know, so needed. I mean, what, uh, if you go into Best Buy these days, um, you know, they, they have QR codes on all their products that that go to more information or you can scan barcodes. I mean, that stuff's going to be just gonna be so prevalent uh, shortly. So if someone comes in, they scan a barcode, they may know that down the block this product goes for $2 less and it may walk out of your store. So you've got to, you know, literally uh, large businesses and small businesses have to be prepared for that eventuality. Yeah, and looking at these tools that are out there, Facebook, Twitter, all of the <laughs> Google apps or other apps that are available to folks, many of them are free. Sure. less your time but you know I think that that's important do you help people do you help people understand that do you, is it interesting or useful to people to know that you know again it, it, we're, we're working at a level with institutional players so l larger businesses that are that, that are already on the web and are looking to 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 get to because you know for web it's a marketplace for us and so you know when we do seminars we say um Who's not on the web in this room? Or does anyone know someone on the web? And then inevitably one hand goes up and it's my grandmother. And mm -hmm. she doesn't count. You know, <laughs> from our purpose of this discussion, right now she doesn't count. You know, she might be a nice person. But so getting that orientation or making that jump is something that we're not as skilled at, you know, helping people understand because, again, we're uh, not only drinking the Kool Aid, but we're in the front row of the church. Uh, we it, see that marketplace. But speaking of grandma, and not to pick on yeah. her, but I think it's important, and I think what it's getting to the the larger issue underneath is audience. Sure. Who's your audience? Sure. And there's tremendous audiences online. You know, so there, you know, again, just about everyone's online. And if you run through that that or agree with that that mentality that it's essentially a, a keyword aspect after that, you know, connecting with them, especially through social tools, as Mary alluded to earlier, it becomes rather easy. Yeah, and using those. We have about 30 seconds left, but I just wanted to quickly touch on the, the prospect of LinkedIn and using that for businesses. How important is that right now, Mary? We actually use LinkedIn on a regular basis, and so do our clients. They all have company pages, so all the employees can link to that one company page. We optimize the page, descriptions, logos, photos, etc. Um, people probably aren't using LinkedIn as much on a regular basis as they do with, with Facebook and Twitter, but people are definitely utilizing it, especially for resumes, applying for jobs. It's a great B2B site, for sure. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, it's great to have both of you in today. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.